What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be breaking down the game mode showdown and little tips and tricks that I found that helped me be successful in each of these game modes. So there's the first inning showdown. I know a lot of you guys are having a tough time with the first inning showdown. Um, I think basically with all of this, it's just knowing what's ahead. So after playing it a couple times, you kind of start to know how to build your team and like what perks to use and what to expect because every final showdown has a specific legend pitcher that or high rated pitcher that is going to be pitching for you. Right now, everything seems like it is on all star, but the pitchers are still very, very good and you have a long grind to get at least 16 runs in the final showdowns. But we're going to give you all the tips and tricks today that we found that made us successful in these showdowns. So you don't have to play a couple of times to uh, figure out how you want to approach this. So I'm going to let you guys know how to approach each and every single one of these showdowns right now. Except the starter one. The starter one's quick and easy. You all should be able to do that. But I do have a pretty good list of like all the pitchers that are in each and every one of these available showdowns right now. A, a couple of them, the pitchers do rotate so i may have missed uh like one or two pitchers but mainly in the nl central i think the pitchers rotate and the al central the pitches rotate too but for the east the al west and then the east and west for both of these i believe do have set pitchers so you can go in there build your team and give yourself the advantage before we begin though make sure you leave a subscribe and smash that like button on this video if it does help you out the first one that we're gonna go into is the first inning program now first i'm gonna show you why the first inning program is very important if you go into the actual program itself you actually get a lot of program stars for finishing the first inning pro program so if you go in the showdown here you get 70 and that 70 is gonna get you about i'm not sure i think it got me all the way to set one headliners so i got all of those right away just by finishing the first inning program so you can kind of see why people really want to finish this up but some of you are having problems with this. First things first, the final showdown for first inning is Roy Oswalt. And just like anything else, you have to take the lead before recording 15 outs. You start at 0 to 15. Now, if you're really good at the game, you can skip it right away. Go to the very end and start 0 to 15 with the current team that you have. But what I did was I played the first three moments before the elimination showdown because there's a couple elimination showdowns too meaning that if you lose these the one with the fire you have to restart all the way at the beginning again so what i did for myself and you may have to go a little bit further to unlock better better diamonds uh better perks better players but what i did was i did the first three and then i skipped all the way to the end so in the first inning program if you do the first three you're gonna get another two silver perks after the first one uh two live series players and then here you actually get a gold player, uh, silver player, and a gold perk. Now the main strategy for the first inning program is stacking your team with lefties. I'm going to show you the, the draft here, but stacking your team with full lefties. If you're not going any further, you really don't need a lot of pitchers. Maybe one like quality silver pitcher. Uh, a starting pitcher and a quality bullpen pitcher but other than that you're gonna want to stack yourself with with a lot of lefties or switch hitters that are very glitchy because obviously it's gonna be Roy Oswald at the very end another important thing don't forget to equip your perks the best perks out there are all the hitting perks I don't think I've used any like pitching perks at all so hitting perks just like spark plug defibrillator takeoff any of those that give you a contact boost or exit velocity boost is going to be very good. Another perk, which is very rare, that I that I saw is rattled. The silver rattled perk is very good. It makes when someone's on base, I believe, or any anytime, it makes the outfielders for the uh, opposing team be rattled and they make more errors. So that's another really good. You get three perks each time, but you only get to draft two. So if you skip all the way to the end, you get your first eight players and then you only get two perks too. And then they're usually lower perks, a silver and a bronze in all of them from what I noticed. So what I'm going to do here actually is I'm going to skip all of this for you guys. 
I'm gonna forfeit this whole thing show you how the draft uh, starts I know a lot of you are gonna get the game tomorrow or depending on when you're watching this tomorrow today yesterday But I'll show you the draft real quick the way I draft usually so in the first inning program We start to draft the first thing I'm gonna look for is the lefty bats if you bat righty versus righty very well Obviously, you're gonna go with Javi Baez, but give yourself a chance a little chance here and go with either Todd Helton or Duke Snyder, which I would I would do. I think my first run, I finished this on my first run, and I chose Todd Helton because I know his uh, swing was very good. But Duke Snyder would be really good too because he's got better contact and power and vision versus righty. So I would go with Duke Snyder. This one, even though J.D. Martinez has really good power, I am going to go with Matt Olson. I do bat with lefties a lot better too. This one, this one's a really good one. Max Kepler, Carl Santana. Depending on who you hit better with. For me, I'll probably go Carl Santana here. Then, like I said, one quality bullpen or starting pitcher for the many moments that you guys are going to be doing if you're not skipping all the way through. This one, uh, I would go with Jose Leclerc because there, I do know there is one mission where you have to use Leclerc in. You got Josh Reddick, another lefty. I think you guys get the point, right? So I'm going to go through this quickly. I'm going to skip ahead to the perks that I'm going to pick. All right, so the perk. We actually get really lucky here. I said this was rare. This is only the second time that I've seen the rattled perk. So here, we, we're not even going to think about doing theft detection or precision strike. We're going to think about insider info and rattled. But this one, rattle's probably going to take the cake. But top secret is a contact boost on inside pitches when runners are on base. So, but rattled, the opponent makes more fielding and throwing errors when runners are in scoring position. So, I'm going to go with rattled. Like I said, one probably one of the best ones. And then for for this, the bronze, jump start is a really good one. Slight contact boost on the first pitch of an at-bat. So you can get a little more aggressive with this perk on. Again, another reminder, this is very important. You make sure you equip them. You just press X and you equip the perks just like that. And then from there, if you want to take my route and take the first three, that, that's what I would do because you're going to get a gold perk and two silver perks, which I don't see a lot of difference between silver and gold perks right now. If, if you're feeling adventurous and you want to go through the showdowns, the showdowns will actually mirror what the final showdown will be too. I think this one's Roberto Osuna. You have to take the lead before like seven outs. That one seems pretty hard. That one seems pretty hard to do. Roberto Osuna is a great pitcher and seven outs is not a lot. So I would say try your first three many moments first and then skip through all the way to the end and see what you can do. You got to remember too, for each mini moment that you finish, you get showdown runs. So if you finish all three of these, you're going to start the final showdown at 4 to 15. One other trick with these final showdowns, I do notice they do pitch a little in the middle, a little higher in the PCI, right? So if you start in the middle, I usually start my PCI a little bit above the middle there and wait for that pitch. Now, obviously, each pitcher is going to have a different repertoire. They're going to use different pitches, but wait for that pitch and smack that thing out of here. So now to go through quickly with these uh, available showdowns, these ones you get team affinity rewards. Um, vouchers which is very important because you get to unlock those team affinity diamonds which are very good right now especially for day one players now these are a little bit harder than the first inning program ones especially especially the AL East now I'm gonna go break down the pitchers that I do know are in these for the final showdowns starting with the AL East quick and then we'll go through the strategy that I use to finish up the team affinity showdown so AL East will have Garrett Cole so one of the top Top pitchers in MLB the show right now Garrett Cole this is the one that I found a lot of trouble with just because Garrett Cole is very good AL Central this is the one that's revolving right now you're going up against Kansas City Zach Granke and then I think the White Sox Chris Sale I believe too someone was, was telling me AL West is going to be Verlander this is one of the first ones I finished up for Otani Verlander wasn't too hard at all NL East you're gonna see DeGrom Jacob DeGrom in the NL Central, I think this one revolves too, but I've heard anyone, someone say that it was Josh Hader. Don't know the truth to that. Haven't started the NL Central just yet. But the NL West, someone said it was Walker Buehler. So you see the trend here. We've got a lot of righty showdown pitchers. So you can still take that lefty approach to each and every single one of these, except 
probably maybe AL Central and NL Central. I would say build your team pretty evenly in the NL Central and the AL Central there. Because it could be a lefty or a righty, especially in the AL Central. Because we already know Sale and Zach Greinke are going to be the pitchers in there. But for the East, the West, for both. You can stack your full team with bat lefty batters. So I'm going to hop into the NL East and show you guys this draft real quick. I will use a thousand stubs for this. But my strategy for these are a little bit different than the ones I use for the showdown. I do, for the strategy, I do finish up this first elimination showdown. And then I go all the way to about this one right here. And then I do skip. I don't take on this second showdown. I skip right after this. From there, you should have at least three gold perks. So a full three gold perks on your squad before you take on the final boss. I'm actually not going to go draft because it's going to be the same thing that I showed you from showdown one. But basically, you're going to have pitching. You're going to have hitting stats. You don't lose. You don't lose when these blues. You only lose in the reds. If you lose in the red, you start over again. But basically, all the showdowns right now, all the showdown modes are all hitting you just got to get to a certain amount of runs this first one here it's for the nl east you have to get four runs before i believe 10 outs and then more hitting and and pitching stats here this one too you, you can do this if you want to if it's needed and you think you need that diamond player and that diamond perk yes go ahead and do this showdown and then if you do the second showdown, might as well do these three as well right before the final showdown. But me, for each and every single one of these, I've been only doing the first showdown and the three blue moments right after it. Be aware though, be aware for the AL East. Like I said, this one, it was the hardest one for me. So maybe I'll go through the second showdown for the AL East, but you could lose that one too. You could lose that one. Once you're in, once you're in your final showdown, the best thing you can do is be absolutely pa patient. I guess there's really only three things that you gotta you gotta do to be successful at showdown right now, as far as we know. First is the draft. Drafting drafting the best players to go up against the final bosses. You're mostly going to be wanting lefties unless you're playing in the central divisions. You're mostly gonna want lefty batters. The perks, the perks, man. I'm telling you, the perks are one of the most important things in Showdown 2. You will not need any pitching perks whatsoever. The hitting perks, very, very important. Or if you find the silver rattled, go for that too. If you have any other questions, for me about showdown let me know in the comments down below those are just some of the things that i found helpful when i went into these showdowns i hope you guys enjoy the game and i also hope that you guys are enjoying my current videos here on mlb the show 20 leave them likes and subscribes with post notifications on down below i am gonna go out there and try to get you guys more tips and tricks videos as well as other like gameplay and pack openings on the channel make sure you check out my other videos right here and remember wash your hands don't touch your face stay away from people stay inside watch mlb the show play mlb the show and as always i'll catch you in the next one